Hello, it is Laurel Card with the Mom Edit, and we're about to work out. All right, remember to always warm up. We'll go through a quick warm up. We'll go through our three circuits, going through them three times each. Make sure you modify if you have to. I will try to call out modifications as we go or do modifications with you. Just keep trying. You will get stronger and better at everything if you keep trying. Don't give up because something is too hard, okay? Work through it, tell your brain to shut up that you can do it and keep going. Remember to always engage your core through every workout. Even when you're not thinking like, this. oh, this isn't a core exercise, you're always activating your core. So every exercise is a core exercise. And <clears throat> when we're doing our legs and our glutes, you're always trying to find your heel and push the floor away with your heel to activate those muscles. Whew. And make sure you breathe and try to enjoy this moment of feeling strong and feeling powerful and doing something good for your body. Okay, let's warm up. We'll just start with some slow head rolls. Nice and slow, easing ourselves into this workout. And even now, I want you to be thinking, am I activating my core? So how can you do that? I always think of pulling my belly button back and up to my spine. And it supports your lower back as well. And we all need a little bit of support in our lower back. Yeesh. Okay, now take your arms. Do some arm swings. Backwards. Oh, arm swings forward. This is the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> Getting your body to wake up. Nice. Now twist. Give me a light bend in your knee as you twist your upper body. Keep that belly button pulled in, supporting your lower back and activating your core. Nice. And swing this way. Pull the arm across and open. Pull the arm across and open. Nice. Just kick up your legs. Try to touch your toe. If you can't, doesn't matter. Do what you can do and your body will get better and better at it. Yeah? Bring the knees in for a knee hug. Everything is good. Movement period is good. So just do what you can. Okay, I wanna do a soft little jump. Soft on your toes. Pull that core in. Saying body, okay, let's go. We're about to work. We're about to work, let's go. I need some extra waking up this morning as well. Okay, psych the mind up, psych the body up. Let's go. We are gonna start with just some simple squats. Um, then, I want to get into a side lunge or lateral lunge with stabil stabilization. I'm so big on balance. Yeah, balance is so important um, for everything, all ages, but especially as we age, keeping that balance is really important, right? And then we will get into bridges with both of our heels. So we've done them single, we've done them holding. This time we're gonna do them with both. And yeah, it's just a really good one for the hamstrings and the glutes, and it's one of my favorites. So you will see it appear many times. Okay, let's get started. 10 squats, eight lateral lunges to stabilization on each side, and then 10 bridges, both leg bridges. Okay, let's go. Make sure you're sitting back, you're finding heels, engage your core, and go down and push through your heel. Down, it's two, three, get that booty back, keep your knees in line, don't let them go forward, right? 
straight back with the booty like you're gonna sit down on a chair. Yeah? I lost count. <laughs> In, let's go. Eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Close your feet. We're gonna go to the side. So you're gonna hips back, right? Pull those hips back and push off of this leg and stabilize. Good. Now you're gonna have to decide how much energy to get to get you back here. So it may be a little trial and error until you get the perfect amount of energy that pushes you right to alignment. Nice. Four, down and push. Five, hold that core. Six, seven, good, and eight, hold. Wow, good. Step to the other side of your mat and drop it down. Hips go back and push. See, I gave it too much, right? And again, push, hold. This is three. Hold that core in, push those hips back. Four, five, you got this. Six, push out of that floor. Seven, and eight, try to hold it. Nice, lie down both heels on your chair, on your bench, whatever you have, heels. Yeah, and we're going to push up through the heels. Push the chair or the bench away with your heels. This always messes me up with my microphone. Good. And push. Don't open the rib cage, right? Just keep everything in line. Three, four, five. You feel that in your hamstring? Six, seven, eight, good, nine, one more, and 10. Noise. Okay, stand up and all over again. Get those feet about shoulder width apart and drop the booty back. And one, two, three, good, four. Hold that core. Five, pull it in, six, push through the heel, seven, eight, push through your heel, hold that core, nine, one more, ten, to the side, let's go, hips go back, core is in, one, hold it, two, hold it, three, hold it, four, Hold it, nice, five, three more, push, six, hold your core, and when you go down, don't let it go, seven, last one, eight, perfect, other side. Now you should kind of know how much energy to give, push, hold the core, hold it right here, push, two, three, good job, four, Five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Good, drop it to the floor. Heels, push through, push, 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 and one, two. Drive your heels, three. Activate those hamstrings, four. Five, you should feel it burn. Six, seven, eight, core is in, nine, and 10. Woo! One more set. Feeling your legs? Woo! When you push through that bridge, try to like, Feel those muscles working at the top. Like hold it for a second. Don't just run through it. Like push through, hold. Feel those hamstrings and glutes, then release back down. You always wanna try to feel and activate the muscle we're using, yeah? All right, 
enough talking. That gives us too much of a break. <laughs> All right. Hips go back. Let's go. Core is pulled in the whole time. Down. One. Two. Pull it in. Three. Push through your heels. Four. Push. Five. Good job. Last round. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Pull it in. And ten. Let's go. Pull it back in to the side. Drop it back. One. Two. Pull the core in. Three. Four. Stabilize. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Switch sides. Good job, you guys. To the side. One. Good. Two. Try to hold it for a second. Three. Hips go back. Four. Hold that core and pull it in now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Down on the ground. Drive those heels. Feel the muscle you're working. Ready? Drive them up. Feel that. Come down. Drive. Come down. Drive. Three. Hold the core. Four. Five. Six. Feel it. Feel the muscles you're using. Seven. Pull this in. Eight. Nine. One more. Feel the burn. Ten. We love that burn. All right. Come down. Woo. All right. First circuit done. Get some water. Take a breath. And we start the next one. Okay. Next round. Single leg squat, but using a chair. This is a big one. Whenever it's time to use one leg, it's freaking hard, especially if you're not used to it. So our stronger legs, like I always talk about, our stronger side of the body will always take over and will always help our weaker side. We don't want that. We want both sides to be strong. So that's why I love doing exercises where the other part can't come in and help, yes? So my dancers too, There's a, we have a lot of one-legged things that we do and we gotta make sure we're strong enough to hold our weight on one side. Yes? So we will be sitting in the chair using one leg to stand up and sit down. This could be super challenging for you. Do not get frustrated. Do the best you can. It's better to do two of them and not be able to finish the other six. How many are we doing? Yeah, eight on each side than to do none at all. So. It's progress. I promise you that it will get easier. Your body will get stronger. I promise you. So have patience with it as it rebuilds. Um, yeah. So single leg squat. Then we'll um, drop down and do some bicycle crunches. Give our legs a little bit of a break. And then we're going to do an iso hold in a lunge. Um, that looks super easy, but we'll give you the shakes. All right, let's get started. Sit in your chair. We have eight for the single leg, um, eight on each side for the bicycle crunch, and then we're going to hold for 30 seconds on the wall. So you're sitting down. One leg is lifted and get your heel under you. You're pushing through your heel. Hold your core. Stand up and back down. Try to have control. Two. Hold your core. Three. Remember, you're going to have a stronger side and a weaker side. Four. Five. Good job. Control it. Six. Try not to rock to come back up. Seven. One more. Push through the floor with your heel. Eight. Good. Switch. So what I mean about rocking is you don't want to do stuff like this. So now what you're doing is you're like, oh, my leg isn't feeling strong enough. Oh, I'm going to use my core and my momentum of my upper body. Make your leg work. Yes? Control going down. Yeah? 
don't fall, but do what you can do and build and make it better each time, okay? So we're here, you're going to push up. Up, my balance, <laughs> and control it down. Two, have you figured out what your stronger and weaker side is? Three, four, down, five, control it down, core is in, six, no rocking, push through your heel every time you stand up, not your toe, your heel, seven, one more, and eight, nice, lie down, we'll lie down this way, so keep your arm down on the ground. And you're just going to come across. So you can keep this on the ground. You don't have to do this, yeah? So you're just going to come in. Two. Let this support you. Three. Do not pull your head, your neck. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Don't like ah, rip your head out of your neck, right? You're just lightly supporting it. Oh, this headset. <laughs> okay. Ready? And across. And also, you should be pulling in your belly button even when you're lying down. You know, it's easier because you're three, <laughs> four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good job. Always that belly button. I'm going to say it a million times. Okay. So get down. You need to have a wall behind you. Right? And you're going to get in this lunge position. So my foot is flat against the wall like this. Yeah? So what we're going to do is be pushing our heel into the wall and at the same time pushing our heel here. Now, you can start here. My knee is on the ground. What I would like you to do is lift the knee up and hold. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. Do the best that you can. Hold for a few seconds, come back down. Hold for a few seconds, come back down or don't go up at all. Just stay in this position and drive the energy through your heels or come up, yeah? I like to do the hardest one first because we're less tired, yeah? So let's go up, drive. This is not easy, it burns like crazy. Like I am burning and shaking already. So if you are shaking right along with me and maybe crying a little bit, it's normal. 10 more seconds. It's normal, it's normal, it's normal. Drive through your heels on both ends. Okay, come down. Yay, other side. Oh my God. Tears, tears, go. Drive, 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 drive. I remember when I first was doing this exercise. When this exercise was new to me, like I literally, I think I had tears because it burns and it hurts. But remember that burning is so good. The burn is good. You want the burn and you need to learn to love the burn. Five more seconds. And stop. Ooh, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Holy, holy moly. All right, single leg, let's go. Ready? Eight on each side. Core is in. Go. One. Ha <laughs> ha. Two. You feel your legs tired and shaky? Three. Four. Five. Do whatever you can do. Six. Seven. Core is in. Having your core in will actually help you do this exercise. Switch, one, get your heel right under you, push through your heel, 
two. Ooh, my balance today. Three, core, Laurel, core. Four, halfway. Five, six, seven, and eight. Lie down, give those legs a break. Shake it out. <laughs> All right, hold your core even when you're lying down, right? Arm out. Let's go. Eight. One. Two. Squeeze at the top. Three. Four. Five. Six. Breathing through the nose. Seven. And eight. Switch. One. Two. Three. Kicking things. Four. Five, belly button in, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's hold. You've got this. Even if you can't go the full time, do a little bit. I'll count it for you. I know that's what you like. You like to hear the time. Ready, go. 25 seconds. 20, 15, 10, <laughs> you got this, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, switch legs. The beauty of all of this is like to feel and watch yourself get stronger, so you are going to be so rewarded. Ready, go. When you go to do this again one day and it's like, oh, piece of cake. Or it burns, but you're comfortable with a burn, right? It's a beautiful thing. That's what keeps us motivated and keeps us going. Focus on your breathing, 15 more seconds. Breathe in through your nose. Meditate. Five more seconds. Relax. Shake it out. Ooh, feel that. Feel that burn. It's so good. It's making you stronger. It's making you stronger. All right, one more round of this. One more round. You can do it. Remember to get a drink of water anytime you need to get a drink of water. All right, down on your chair. Let's go. Last round, last round. Core is in. Core is in. Drive through your heel. One. If you need assistance on the wall, go for it or something else. Two. Breathe. Three. Four. Five. Control. Six. Through your heel. Seven. Last one. Eight. Switch. Core is in. One. Two. Make adjustments. Three, core, four, breathe, exhale as you push up, five, through the heel, six, seven, one more, eight, good job, can lie down, oh, let's stay here, <laughs> arm is out, let's go. One, squeeze. Two, still hold that belly button in. Three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides. One, two, three. You know this is our last round. Four, <laughs> Five, six, seven, and eight. Last hold. Do what you can. Do the best you can. Okay. Here we go. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose to calm yourself down. Then 
before you know it, I'll tell you your time is up. Five more seconds. And switch. Good. See, it works. Focus on breathing in and breathing out through your nose. Calm yourself and I'll tell you when it's over. Go. In through the nose, out through the nose. Close your eyes. Five more seconds. Good job. Shake it out. Get some water. Feel that lactic acid release when you stand up. Oh my God. Okay. Small break. Last round. Okay. Okay. I hope you've had some time to rest. <laughs> Your legs should be feeling tired and shaky and all of the things. So, reverse lunge with twist. Make sure the belly button is pulled in, especially during that twist. Um, we're gonna do a heels elevated squat, squat pulses. You can use anything for this. So a book, a thick book. Um, what I've found is these little, um, these little dots, right? So just stacking up some dots. Um, anything that just gives your heels a couple inches off the ground, yes? And then we'll do your normal old plank. Normal old plank, all right? Let's finish this. This is our last one, let's go. Ready, go back and then twist towards the leg that's in front. Ready, and you go down, hold the belly button, twist. Yeah, whatever you wanna do with your arms is fine. Three, hold the core in all the time. Four, knee straight down, five, Push through the heel. Six. Seven. Good job. Down. Eight. Hold the core. Nine. And ten. Switch legs right away. Go down. One. Twist. Two. Twist. Three. Twist. Four. Twist. Good job. Five, twist, hold the core. Six, twist, chest it up, chest is up. Seven, twist, eight, twist, you're breathing. Nine, through the heel, and 10. Nice, grab your little elevation, put your heels on it. This is not fun, but whatever. Get in a low squat, and we're gonna pulse. Go, one. Breathe. Breathe. Core is in. to rest after this and back back twist two three hold that core belly button in four five six seven eight and 10. 
switch legs. Let's go. One, Ooh. <laughs> two, three. We all have good and bad days. My balance is having a bad day today. Four, <laughs> five, six, hold the core. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Elevate. Boop. Yeah, 50 pulses. And down. One, two, three, core, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You can cry if you want. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 40, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Release. Ooh, do you feel it drain through your legs? <laughs> Plank. Ready, go. Breathe. belly button in, push away from the floor, push, 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 push with your forearms, don't sink into your shoulders, almost done, and relax, good job, last round, we can do it, the burn is real, the shake is real, the tears are real, but we can do it because we are strong. Yes, we are strong and we can do anything. Let's go. Breathe through it, breathe through it all. All right, one, almost went the wrong way. Two, core is in. Three, chest is lifted. Pushing through your heel. Five, oh my goodness, six, Breathing, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, other side, and one, core, it out if you need to. Grab your elevated object. Let's pulse it out, baby. Last round. Last round. Ready? And go. That's 10. You never have to do those again. <laughs> those are horrible. Ready? Last plank, last plank, and you are done. Woo. Hold that core in. Let's go. Push away from the floor. Push, push, push through your shoulders. Breathe. Should be tired. Should be sweating. My heart rate got up there. Um, all right, let's.
cool down, right? Whew, you never want to just do a workout and stop. You need to bring your body back down, your heart rate back down, give it some love, say thank you for allowing me to do what I just did because not everybody can. Know that you will get stronger, you will get better at this, you will get more stamina, muscle endurance, um, it will get easier and that feeling of doing something that you switch weren't able to do before because your muscles were not strong enough, when you're able to do that, it's like the best feeling. And that's the motivator. The motivator is watching yourself get stronger, feeling yourself get stronger, seeing the changes in your body as you get stronger, the changes in your mentality, in your spirit, yeah? How you roll your neck, how you roll your neck, how this strength and power carries with you outside of the gym or your home. Because once you are able to do something that you didn't think you were able to do or weren't able to do, and then you powered through it, and you're like, ah, beast mode and do it, it starts changing your mind and you start believing more that you can do other things that you thought you couldn't do in real life situations, through work, through relationships, whatever. Slow roll down. You can really, so here you guys, I always just do my favorite stretches and cool down, but you can take this time if there's ones that you really love to do, you can go ahead and do those instead. I just wanna make sure you're cooling down because it's very important. So I'm bending and straightening my legs here. And then I'm opening them. I'm gonna hang on to my elbows and sway because this feels really good. <sighs> Make sure your head is dropped if you're hanging over. Get all tension out of your neck. Oh, we hold so much tension in our neck all day. Let this be a moment that you release it. Always breathing, always breathing. Slightly bend your knees and slowly roll up. If you need um, balance, hold on to something, but I want you to cross over and sit back. My balance has been horrible today, so if I fall, whoops. Oh, this is mess. Hold on to something if you need to. And switch. It's my left leg. My left leg is not wanting to balance today. Oh, I hope you guys had a good workout. I know it's like painful and it's challenging and it's like, ah, oh, but it feels so good. And when you finish it, it's like the best. So keep at it. Keep doing it. It will get easier. It will get more fun. Everything gets better. I love you. Drink a lot of water. Go eat something really good for you. Fruits, good carbs, they fuel you, they make you feel good. Glucose, good glucose, fruit sugar, stuff like that. Stay away from the candy and chip aisles. That's not gonna help you or make you feel good. <laughs> lots of water, lots of fruit, lots of whole happy foods. And I will see you in the next video.